And here come the two teams then, led by Steph Horton for Manchester City and Brianna Westruff of Sunderland. The music pumped up to 11. Some may fear in the Sunderland camp. 11 might not be the only number they see this afternoon when it comes to goals. But Gareth Taylor not taking anything lightly. He's gone with a strong setup for this match this afternoon. Alex Greenwood over it. Steph Horton's in the penalty area. Could you just sure as well for Manchester City to provide that height? Morgan's at the near post. Headed up by Sunderland. Could you just sure keeps it alive? Horton's in there. This is Angle Dahl. Squares it. Goal. They make it look so easy at times in a situation that probably wasn't initially. It's taken less than eight minutes. Julie Blackstad on the score sheet for Manchester City. Two late goals in the win over Blackburn last time in the League Cup, and she's there again. Khadija Shaw really wanted to keep that alive at first. Horton tried her luck. And it just fell beautifully for Angledahl. Well, they caused a few issues last time with a corner. This one equally as dangerous in the header. Isn't a million miles away. Looping up. Nelly Roebuck always looked a little bit comfortable in that one, but the corner came in. In that. Now Rasso. And there's space to attack here. Rasso into the penalty area. Looks for Shaw and manages to avoid Shaw. And Blackstad. Could she have gone alone? Should she have gone alone there? Hayley Rasso of Manchester City. Ball cuts down the right-hand side. She had the space to attack. The goalkeeper didn't look set in the right position either. Blackstad's on the... Touchline on the far side, gets the cross in. It's a goal on Morgan! Oh. She got in the right position, Esme Morgan there. Just couldn't quite guide the header goal bound. Out to the left, it was Blackstad's delivery. It was a good one as well, and Morgan had the space. Oh, here's an opportunity for Rasso. She's got Blackstad in support. Rasso alone! And at the start of the second half, it's the dream start for Gareth Taylor's side. Hayley Rasso doubling Manchester City's Whoa, advantage. She got the first against Blackburn in the last League Cup game. She gets the second today of the CFA. Once she was through on goal, it was whether she would go alone or whether Julie Blackstead would have the tap in again. But she kept going, Rasso, the Australian. And it's a cool finish, isn't it? Past a stranded Claudia Moan and Horton. And another ball through, and Shaw's got the better in the defence here. Okay, did you, Shaw? Well, what Rasso can do, Shaw can only add to it. Another cutting ball, and Steph Horton, the captain, rightly gets the plaudits from her teammates too. The assist was delightful. The finish, fantastic. You'd always back Kadija Shaw in that situation. She's got a huge smile on her face and salutes Steph Horton too. Horton's vision. Shaw's execution, and a stranded Claudia Moan can do nothing about it yet again. And Manchester City lead this one by three goals to nil. Stokes and Fowler, here is Fowler. And Shaw drops a shoulder, wants it on the right foot, still Shaw. Well, it wasn't far away, that is for sure. We get another chance to look at that. Cutting in on that right foot, wanted the space, never really had it yet, still squeezed the shot away, Kidija shot. Angled up. Blackstab, who got City off and running this afternoon. 
Angledal to Fowler. Might come to Blackstab. Save comes in from Moan and cleared away by her defence. A little bit of fortune, but Blackstab will not have any complaints about that. Not started with Fowler and Shaw flicking it through. And there was Blackstad, left-footed, low drive. Alexandre, oh, Shaw's got the turn. Shaw's into the box. Oh, good save by Mo. And out for a corner. Khadija Shaw again for Manchester City at the heart of making something happen in the penalty area. She could roll the defender. She knew she'd have a chance. Big delivery. Oh. Shaw got up for it. Well, got under it and over the bar. Greenwood's delivery. Always problematic, always into the danger zone and he's angled up. Ball through, Rasso always wanted that, gets it as well. Can she pull it back, find another blue shirt. Defended by Sunderland. Alexandri on the right-hand side, keeps it going. Infield as well. Lovely work, there's the low shot, it's off the line from Sunderland, it comes to Marley Paraskevas and it's over. Stokes to Greenwood, back to Stokes again. And Greenwood once more. Blackstad, oh, she's got it through to Greenwood somehow. That should be four, it is four. It's not four, the flag's up. City thought they were in again there. Stokes and Greenwood combining, Blackstad getting involved, it'll be that return pass to Greenwood that's the issue from Blackstad, I think, on the flag. Rasso alive to it, alert to it at the back post, but all for nothing. And the flag goes up, it's that interchange between Stokes and Greenwood that really started to open Sunderland up. And Fowler's in here, deserves a goal this afternoon. Saved by Moan. Marley Paraskalas tries to keep it alive and hit the referee. That'll be a stop to the play. Fowler in on the right-hand side. Got the shot. Moan was equal to it. Fowler was everywhere in the first half. Four additional minutes have gone up here at the City Football Academy. <laughs> And over those four minutes now of added time that was shown at the end of this second half, the referee is just going to keep us playing a little bit longer. But not much longer. Manchester City, job done here at the City Football Academy this afternoon. They were favourites to win. They've shown why. Three goals and three points in their group in the Women's League Cup. It's two wins from two for Gareth Taylor's side. Can be happy with the afternoon's work. They were in control from the off. Had it at their own pace and their own dominance throughout. And Manchester City have another successful afternoon at home. It's finished here at the City Football Academy. Manchester City 3, Sunderland 0. So Hayley, two wins from two now in the Conti Cup, uh, great performance out there, how did it feel for you to be out there again? Yeah, it felt good to be out there again, I missed last week so it's nice to be back on the pitch but just to come away with the win, uh, it's good for us and we keep moving forward. And obviously you got an early goal in the second half, it seemed to really up the tempo for us as well, how important did it feel at the time to be getting that goal? Yeah, to get that goal is good. I feel like we were a bit slower in the first half, um, so we upped the tempo. We chatted at half-time when we came out, and I think we did better in the second half. And obviously your goal came soon after after half-time. Uh, seemed like a really important goal to kind of up our tempo. Did it feel important to you as well? Yeah, it felt important. Um, we had a few chats at half-time. Um, we sorted a few things out because the first half was a little bit slow. So I think we upped the tempo when we came out in the second half and got a few goals in the end there. And it's seven wins in a row now in all competitions. We really seem to be building momentum at a really important time in the season. Yeah, I think so. We started off a little bit slow at the start of the season, so it's really important for us to keep getting wins. Um, you know, we, we work out on the training pitch and we come out on the weekends and we want to perform, so we've done that tonight and hopefully we can keep building momentum there. And another really good, um, good bit of news today, obviously Ruby Mason, Alana Kennedy making their first uh, appearances of the season. Um, how much work have they put in and how deserving are they to be getting back in after some, uh, some fitness issues earlier this season? 
Yeah, it's always tough when you get an injury like that and you're out for a while, but they've been working so hard, um, putting in so much work with their rehab, which a lot of people don't see. So really happy to see them back out on the pitch tonight.